Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars role-playing game video. A couple days ago I picked up the newest book for the Star Wars role-playing game, Gadgets and Gear. Um, it's a book focusing on exactly what the title says, gadgets and equipment, so various weapons, armor, um, attachments, so, and so on, for the Star Wars role-playing game. It fits with all three systems, so um, Edge of the Empire, Age of Rebellion, and Force and Destiny. Um, it, there are reprints of older um, weapons that are in the core rule books, as well as some of the other the other source books, as well as new equipment just for this book. So, for example, um, Han Solo's blaster pistol is in this book, as is Chewbacca's um, bowcaster, and so on. So, some equipment is going to be brand new to this book. A lot of it is going to be from the other core rule books, as well as other source books that they've released um, throughout the game's history. So first up here, we got our cover with uh, Jin Erso on it, Battle of Scarif on the front. And then we have our little title crawl there. Uh, table of contents, so we have all various kinds of weapons and um, like, like blasters, um, projectile throwers, things like that, as well as melee weapons, attachments, and so on. Uh, lightsabers have their own little chapter as well. And starting right here, we have a list of new talents and the weapon qualities. Let's see if you can... That doesn't really want to focus very well. But um, a lot of the new talents and weapon qualities from other books and that are exclusive to this book are not in the core rulebook. So these will give you a breakdown of how these new talents and weapon qualities work with the equipment listed in this book here. So there's like new skills, new talents, and so on. And first chapter up here, we have um, blasters. So we have various blasters here. For example, this blaster pistol can um, fold out into a rifle. And then it, when it's in a rifle configuration, it gives you um, a couple different bonuses. I think it has like longer range and gives you pierce. So we have a whole page of blasters here. We have um, Kira on the cover there. We got some more blasters here, here, and here. Um, for example, there is the DL-44 blaster. I think this is Han Solo's blaster pistol as shown here. So there's a heavy blaster pistol. Some mounted weapons as well. Just continuing through the various blasters. We have like some uh, rifles, we got some pistols. We get into projectile th um, weapons, so like slug throwers and things like that. And again, all the stats and um, abilities of what the weapons actually do are listed here. Um, exotic weapons. So, for example, here's Chewbacca's bowcaster. Um, this one can't be bought, so if you wanted to like roll Chewbacca into a game and use his, bla his um, bowcaster, you have all the stats here. It has a cool ability to where, once per encounter, he can load a special uh, round from his bandolier. And... Um, that is listed here. There's also a few different um, bandolier options for the bowcaster here. They do things like adding blast, adding pierce, adding disorient, and so on. So we're in the exotic weapons category here. So these are going to be weapons that are going to be very hard to find. They're going to have like high rarities and so on. Uh, we have brawl weapons. So we have like various like um, the shock gloves, shock boots, vibro knucklers, um, various blades. Into the melee weapons, so we have like an axe. Uh, there's a lightsaber right there. Um, various shields and things like that, so this is all the melee weapons in the game. There's the double-bladed lightsaber. We have like the various, like, um, what's this one called? That is the, um, the, sh the shock. i got to bring the book up here. The uh, shock prod, for example. Double-bladed lightsaber again. Um, we have like some art with the uh, Royal Guard and their weapon. Again, this is all various melee weapons. We, then we move into explosives. So this is going to be like grenades, mines, and things like that. So here's grenades and launchers. We had there's like a whole chapter on like micro rockets. We got our thermal detonator there. Um, missiles and missile launchers. Um, into the section for armor. So some of this armor is from the core rule books. Some of it is going to be from various other books, but we have like the adverse environment gear. There's various armor suits. Um, I believe Boba Fett's armor is also in here. So 
That's a very good armor. It um, has no stealth price, so you can't basically... You can't, just can't go into a store and buy Boba Fett's armor, but if you were to somehow defeat Boba Fett, let's say he was like a nemesis for your campaign, you could then use his armor. Uh, Jedi Temple armor there. We have uh, padded armor, for example. And then we move into attachments. So these are going to be like weapon attachments, things that you can put onto um, your guns. Like there's like different barrels that'll make it have longer range, be more accurate. There are things that will make um, the gun have, um, you know, like less recoil and so on. So this is a whole chapter on just various weapon attachments. And then, of course, what the actual attachment does. If you have a, a, a longer barrel, it might make the gun more accurate, which will let you roll blue dice in when you make your um, attack with that weapon. Uh, we have the whole thing on lightsabers with your various crystals. I believe a lot of these are from Force and Destiny, or from that particular core rulebook. But then there's going to be all the different kinds of crystals for your lightsabers if you're playing um, a Force user, that, or that uses a lightsaber. Uh, we then have armor attachments. So this is going to be like, I think there's some there like holographic projectors and so on. Things that make, um, or maybe like flashlights, you want to put like lights on your armor so you can like see in dark areas, that kind of stuff. So this is all the weapon, uh, all the armor attachments. We have various equipment. It's going to be like comm links, and like this is the Jedi um, communicator thing. We have prosthetic limbs. All kinds of um, cool different equipment. Like there's like um, binoculars, there's like medical kits, uh, the handcuffs, or binders, I think they're called. And then there's like survival gear. And a bunch of other really cool equipment. So, overall, I think the arms or this book is actually pretty decent. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. So, like, you're going to get new weapons. You're going to get um, weapons that are from the other books in a nice collected collected book. I believe this retails for about $40. Yeah, I picked it up, um, I want to say, a few days ago. Yeah, grabbed it. Um, definitely going to be using some of these, um, these weapons and equipment in some of my games. I just like that it's also, all this stuff is in one nice big collection instead of having to reference multiple books and multiple, like multiple core rule books as well as multiple um, source books. But some of these are going to be from the various class guides. So like, you know, there's going to be some stuff for smugglers that's from Fly Casual and so on. So again, that is the gadgets and gear um, for the Star Wars role, role playing game from Fantasy Flight Games. Again, retails for about $40, came out think like end of last week, but I just ended up getting it a few days ago. Um, nice collection of equipment for across the game. Again, works with all three major uh, systems. So you have Edge of the Empire, Age of Rebellion, and Force and Destiny, as well as there is some exclusive content in here. Certain weapons for like main characters' weapons that are not available in the other books. So again, I think this book is decent if you're looking for a good collection of just various equipment for your characters. This is definitely the book to get. That's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks again for watching, and take care.